we're now going to have a look at how you can use the simulation to carry out the experiment. OK, so you will need to open up this simulation of the masses and springs. And this time you are going to want to click on the lab option. That will then open up in a moment this. <clears throat> and once you've got that, if this energy graph is open, then you can click up here and get rid of the energy graph. Uh, we don't really want that. Then you can hang the mass onto the spring here. And then set the damping to none, which will just mean it works as if there is no air resistance, which will make life easier. Then you can adjust the mass up here. I'm going to adjust it to 300. Then uh, we can turn on up here, marking the natural length. The next thing to do is to turn on this equilibrium position marker, which is going to give us our fiduciary marker. So once you tick that, it will give you a line as your fiduciary marker. When you're ready to start timing, you're going to want to lift the uh, mass up. And it's important that you don't move it above the original length because you want it to be below the original length. And then to when you're ready, you can drop that. And remember, for your timing, if you need, there's a stopwatch that you can click on here. But if you've got a separate stopwatch, that's probably going to be easier. And then you can release it from this position above the equilibrium position, but below the natural length. And <coughs> it will start oscillating. And because we've set the damping to zero, it should basically continue indefinitely. And then what you'll want to do for your timing is start it when it passes down through the equilibrium position and go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, stop. So stopping on 10. You will then be able to change your value for the mass up here and get at least eight different values to fill in your results table.